Now let's dive into the exciting part, building the extension brain. We'll break it down into three main steps, content extraction, for the first version of this extension, I narrowed the supported blocks to Medium and Dev2. I used the regex Python lib to define in which domain the generate content is called. Then for Dev2, I used beautiful soup file to extract text. For Medium, I couldn't scrap the content of my article with this library, so I used the Medium Rapid API to extract the content. The second step is content summarization. If the extracted text content is too long, I use AI magic to summarize it, so that I don't exceed the maximum of tokens the LLM model supports. In the future, this step will be removed, as with time LLM models will support more tokens. I use Gemini here because with the latest next generation model, it can process up to 1 million tokens consistently. With this, I'm more likely to skip this step and make the generation of posts faster. Although I don't currently have access to this model, I'm preparing the ground for it for now. Finally, I'll hand the article or the summarized article to our AI models and let them work their magic, generating engaging social media posts. Let's go to the code and before this I need API keys for Gemini, OpenAI and Medium Rapid API. now uh, here I have all my steps or my functions the article content extraction the summarization optional step and the post generation with Gemini and OpenAI I have also my main function here will, uh, where I'll be calling all these functions so let's go and check this uh, I have first all my requirements uh, all my dependencies uh, we've talked about. So I have here Lynchin, Lynchin Google Genii, and Lynchin OpenAI. I have also Google Cloud Secret Manager, but this is not for Collab actually, it's for the Google Cloud function. Uh, with this package, um, I'll be getting my secrets. So I have my first function, so I have first all my API keys. I get them with the user data from Google Collab, so I stocked all my API keys here as secrets and then get them with the user data. I have here a couple of URLs for a testing purpose and my extraction uh, function. I have here, I use the regex to get or to check uh, in which article I am, if it's medium or div2, and based on that, I'll be calling either the medium rapid API or the um, the request, uh, like when I get request and use beautiful soup to uh, burst the HTML and get the uh, content of the article tag. And the next function is the summarization function. This function takes the article context we got uh, content uh, we got from the uh, this function and then uh, we check its tokens uh, number I use here my uh, Gemini model to do so with LLM Gemini uh, get num, num tokens and then if the article exceeds uh, the, spe the specified token limit 
the max tokens here and passing as a parameter to the function it splits the text into chunks and uses uh, a summarization chain to generate a summary then return the summarized content otherwise it just returns the article as you can see here so um, here I'm using the Google Generative AI. This class comes from the land chain uh, Google AI. I pass to it the model name. Here I use the Gemini Pro. Uh, I pass also the uh, API key, uh, Google API key, and some safety settings to prevent um, harmful content. Uh, I use the recursive character text splitter. Um, this uh, class, uh, basically what it does, it will split the article into chunks. Here I provide the chunk size and the chunk overlap. The overlap is used to keep the semantic link between chunks. And then I uh, get my chunks by using the text splitter create document. So each chunk, for each chunk, I create a document and I pass in the content of the article I want to summarize. I'm using the prompt template. Uh, I've already talked about this puzzle from the land chain before. It's just used to uh, build a prompt. So I'm using a template here uh, of my prompt and uh, I'm passing uh, some variables here, which is the text. This text is the chunk and I'm telling it write a summary of the following text and um, I'm waiting for the summary. Um, I have also the combined template which is um, the template or the prompt I'll be applying to the chinks uh, after getting all the chinks summaries from this uh, map prompt I'm using combined template to get the final summary for from all summaries. So how it works? Basically, um, I'm using loud summarize chain um, function from Lenchain again. As you can see, Lenchain provides a lot of uh, powerful functions. If I would do this manually, it will take time first, and it will be a lot of code. Um, so this function needs an LLM model. As you can see, I'm using Gemini here. Um, and the, the chain type. So I'm using MapReduce here and how it works. The MapReduce summarizes each document. The document is the chunk we cut from the recursive um, character text splitter and uh, for uh, on its own in a map step and then reduce. So as you can see here, I have my article here. I divide it into chunks and I apply the first prompt which says uh, simply just summarize the chunk. Uh, I use the LM model, of course, to do the summarization of each chunk. Then I get a summary uh, for each chunk. And then uh, from all these summaries, I apply another prompt, which is the uh, combined prompt uh, with the LM model to get the final summary. So this is basically what the MapReduce uh, does. And uh, yeah, I just pass the map prompt and the combined prompt here and variables to false. It's interesting to see how it looks behind how the LLM uh, works uh, for this uh, step. So uh, you can use the variables true to see what happens behind. And yeah, finally, I'm just returning the summary. I use the invoke function to invoke the chain. Uh, simply with the chunks um, I get from the first step here and uh, the magic happens behind all these helpful functions and classes from the uh, land chain. Alright, the third step which is the generate of uh, the post generation um, with Gemini and OpenAI, this function generates social media posts based on the provided article and URL. So it's not the provided article actually, it's the provided count extracted content from the article. Uh, it's either the summarized article if it was too long or the article itself. Here I have some tips for crafting a high quality prompt, but before all I'll be just going through quickly the function. I have here my template again. I'm using the prompt template to build my to build my prompt. 
So uh, here we go. I have the template. I'll uh, go back to this template later. Um, so I have. I'm using the prompt template to be to build my prompt. I'm using uh, two LM models: the LM uh, model of Gemini and of OpenAI. And here I'm chaining the prompt with the model. So basically, the prompt puzzle and the LM puzzle. And then I can invoke the chain I created with the invoke function and give it all information it needs or variables it needs for the template. And the same things uh, basically happens to the OpenAI model. As you can see, it's really simple. If I would do this manually, it will be a lot of code. So this, this is the power of LangChain. So I'll go back to my template. Here, uh, the way we talk to the LM is crucial. It determines the quality of the output. So building a high quality prompt is important to get interesting results. So I have uh, a lot of tips here after searching it and after experimenting a lot of prompts. Uh, what I found out is that you need uh, different things to specify in your prompt to have a high quality prompt and high quality results or at least the results you're looking for first the persona here you define who you want the model to be considering the task for me i want it to be an experienced technical writer then um, i give it the goal and um, what do you want from the lm here i want it to uh, generate and always start with a verb, generate a post. This is the job I wanted to do. And I need to give it why do you need it. So actually I need the post to share it on social media, post on the article. So the article is the source here, which information or source or exemplars LLM can use. It doesn't really need exemplar in this specific t uh, task or this specific case because it already does uh, a great job so I don't need it so here basically what I'm providing is the article or the summarized article so I say the your source is this article and you need to generate the post from this article and then I give it the format this format is the structure of the output I wanted to respect so what I want here, I want first a catchy title introducing the topic, um, the accompanied with uh, uh, images. I want to use images uh, in my posts. I tell it don't add any label like a title, for example, because uh, sometimes it has title. I'm not interested in that. Uh, by the way, this is one of things also important to provide in your prompt. You define clearly what it must not do. So going back to the structure, here I say next you list uh, a key of ideas or takeaways or bullet points uh, from the article content and focus on providing the article's value. So what's most important for me is to get what, uh, what's important in this article, what are the takeaways. So my readers, if they read the post, they can see the takeaways. If they are interested, then go ahead and read the article. If you're not interested, then you will not be disappointed after reading my article. So you can see the goal behind this. And then I say read more uh, with the hyperlink emoji followed with the provided link article, um, link of the article. So as you can see here, um, I'm providing the URL and this is where the uh, reader um, can go ahead and click on the URL to go to the article. Then after the read more, wish to reader a great day to make it like a friendly post and then I say list uh, a re uh, relevant hashtags by the end to increase visibility on social media platforms. Don't add the hashtags. I'm not interested in adding hashtags or oh, the uh, already um, everyone knows the hashtag starts with hashtags so I don't need to provide hashtag label here. So uh, I say clearly don't add the hashtag here and finally I provide tune 
uh, keywords, for example, friendly, confident, informative, to guide the AI uh, writing style. I say be friendly and informative. So this is how you can build a high quality uh, prompt. And it's not about science, it's really about experimenting and trying out things. And uh, this is the prompt that give me really interesting results I'm satisfied about and I can go ahead and share uh, almost without defined the generated posts. So, all right, uh, now the main function uh, here where we call all our functions. I have commented some uh, steps here I use from for the Google Cloud function to manage course. Uh, here I have my URL for Google Cloud function. I'll be getting the URL from the request, of course. But in my case, I just want to test with uh, a given uh, hard-coded URL. And then I call the scrub article content, give it the URL. Then I summarize the article. So the summarize long article will either summarize or return the article, as I said before. And here, um, if the summarized article, if I have my summarized article, then uh, I just go ahead and say generate posts. I'm giving it the summarized article or the article itself and the URL. Uh, this URL, um, if you recall, I'm using it uh, for my prompt to uh, to give it in to the read more. I can go ahead and call article to posts function. So let's run all this and see how uh, see the results. So here I have already run my uh, all my dependencies and installed them. Can go ahead and run the uh, um, article content extraction. All right, go ahead and write also my summarization step. The generation step and the main function to take a little bit so here it says um, started scrapping article content summarization not needed as you can see and they have here the generated post so it gets completely different um, results which gives me uh, more choices to choose the one uh, which is more suitable for for me i can even experiment by uh, like posting the this one on linkedin for example and the other one on twitter and see which one have more reactions and uh, impressions so here we go as you can see the gemini um, output is well formatted here and the OpenAI output also is well formatted. So I have the catchy title I asked for. So here it says uh, transitioning from React.js to React Native uh, a smooth journey. Here it says um, transition from React.js to React Native wor is it worth it. So this is a more catchy in my point of view. Um, so I'd rather go for this one. Uh, for this title and then I have all my key points or takeaways uh, as you can see it chooses the emoji it will take time for me to choose a suitable emoji as you can see it just do it in few seconds it's really great as you can see it didn't respect my uh, the emoji I asked for I asked for a, a hyperlink emoji but it's also suitable so I'm okay with that as you can see it wishes a good day to my reader and here i have all my hashtags uh, same goes for the open eye it wishes a good day and i have my hashtags here and um i even have let's expand our skills set and embrace new technologies um it's it's good i actually like it I go ahead and uh, try with the medium medium URL and let's see what it gives us and here we are as you can see it doesn't use images 
but at least it respects the, uh, the given structure. I have my catchy title here, Angular 17, a renaissance for Angular development. Uh, I'm giving the main takeaways of my article. Uh, it's pretty interesting, have a good day. I have all my hashtags here. It's good. Um, this one, it's more uh, rich. As you can see here, this time it respected uh, my hyperlink emoji and the wishing you a great day and I have all my hashtags. This time the opening I give me a lot of hashtags actually. Uh, I'm not sure if I need all this but it it's uh, um, kind of um, logic because uh, this article has a lot, talks a lot of, uh, about a lot of features of Android 17. I like the choice of emojis. It's not, uh, there's not different uh, emojis for each takeaway uh, uh, key. But anyway, I, I, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. 